Channel 7. Time for 7 First Alert Weather. Well, this morning turned out to be pretty nice. As you can see, the sunshine in the morning, always a nice morning after you have such thunderstorms and heavy rain the night before. But here's uh, the Boise, uh, th that is the uh, Bogus Basin webcam. And you can see Bogus Basin along through here. Here's the valley down through here. Here's the sunshine. Wanted to show you that as the day continued on, we had some clouds. And at the very last part, there is the very light, some Virga showers, some of the showers moving over Boise, and that's going to be moving to the east and pretty much out of the picture as we showed you on the satellite picture just a while ago. You know, the big question is, uh, why were there strong thunderstorms yesterday? What does it take to have that? And did you know, as you look at the very top here, over 5,300 lightning strikes with this storm? That's just in the valley. Okay, that's not taking uh, the place of southern Idaho. So, you know, that could have easily been over 1,000. Well, those storms were because we had a, a strong jet stream that had near 115 mile per hour winds that was yesterday afternoon that was moving over the top of the valley. So if you can imagine, that would produce plenty of moisture because we had the moisture in the valley. So if you think of the jet stream over land and you think that as it pulls at that speed, it will pull the air up from underneath it, which it did. And, and it can strengthen some of those storms as it moves up higher in the atmosphere, produce the hail because it's in those freezing levels. And then there's lightning with that, as well as as it comes down, you've got heavy rain. So you condense all that rain and bring it up and then bring it back down. So that's all the rain showers that we had last night. And that was the reason for that. The reason why it's not so much today is that the storm system has basically moved to the east and we're much drier in the valley. So we can't really develop those storms. And as you could see, what we had for this evening were just a few light rain showers that kind of moved through the city at this time. So as you look at the 10 day temperature trend and the reason why I bring this up is to show you, first of all, how the temperatures are gonna be on the rise. We're basically dry conditions. And then you can see by the time we get to Friday, it's nearly 90 degrees, okay? Then Saturday, it starts coming down. And you know, I, and I, I, in the beginning of the week, for the last two, three, two weeks, I've been talking about why is the temperature dropping and showing you that as we get into the weekend, we've got again, I know, it's several in a row now, and it's getting ridiculous. But these temperatures are going to drop because we're going to see more storminess that's going to be moving into the area. So I'll have your seven-day forecast uh, to share with you all of that. Now, as we look ahead to tomorrow, Temperatures are basically going to be just above 70 degrees for most of the Magic Valley. And as you look at Gooding tomorrow, it could be up as warm as 77 degrees. Haley will be a nice day at 70 degrees. 71 in Fairfield, 67 in Sun Valley. Here's Donnelly at 68 degrees. Council 74, down in Garden Valley at 76. Temperatures basically in the 70s, so it's working on nearing the 80 degree reading uh, for Nampa and Caldwell for tomorrow. Boise has 77, same thing for Meridian. Mountain Home is 77 degrees. So in your seven day forecast, it's mostly sunny for tomorrow. Temperature will be up to 77. Now, as it starts to warm, Wednesday, Thursday is pretty hot. Friday, pretty hot. There's up to 90. And then you can see we've got that change in the weather forecast that's coming, which is going into Saturday and Sunday, which could have a chance of some afternoon thunderstorms and really start to bring down some of those showers once again. Kind of bring me down too. Think Rick. about another weekend that's coming up, but each weekend is getting drier and drier. Pretty soon it could only be just a little bing and that's it on the weekend. So it's tapering off is what you're saying. We're going to expect <laughs> yes, this on the weekends bit. for the rest of the summer until and as winter. always, you know, this is really too early to say yeah. how it, what, what it's really going to be like. But yeah. as we look at the week, we're going to be watching that weekend for some similar situations. Yeah. Well, and I think it's important for people to realize, too. I mean, this is great for our foothills. They're incredibly yeah. green. The wildflowers are stunning. But it, an interesting note that we've talked about in the past is that it, it does grow these fuels. And as it dries out later in the summer, that yeah. might not be great for fire you season. You know, I was thinking you came from Portland last year. Yeah. So here you do. You brought it with you. So I did. That's it. Those weekends. It's Doesn't my always fault. rain on the weekend over there? Yeah, every day. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I moved back.